up, YouTube? It's Kurt here, and I'm still waiting on some equipment to come in the mail, so I'm not going to do, like, actual music videos uh, for uh, at least a few more days. So right now, I'm just going to do a discussion for the fun of it. And this is a topic that I think is very interesting, and um, it's one that's been a hot debate recently. Um, and it's whether or not uh, record labels really care when their artists die. Uh, so before I even jump into this uh, argument that might be a little bit controversial, I want to show you this chart, and I feel like this speaks a lot of volumes. So here you can see this chart, and this is tracking the amount of listeners for the artist Lil Peep over the past 30 days. So obviously you can see the huge hump to where his listening base, um, just on Spotify, went from somewhere around 100,000 listeners to 900,000 listeners in a matter of one or two days. So, as you can see here, um, when an artist dies, uh, they don't, uh, the label doesn't pass off their earnings to any of their family members. That's not something that happens. Um, when artists die, uh, generally the sales go up, they go up like tenfold, and uh, all, most, 90% of the proceeds tend to go to the label. Um, so, so the music business, it is a business, all right? It's about making money, and a lot of these uh, labels, they're a uh, part of parent labels that are just really, really huge uh, corporate labels that are really in it for the money. Um, a lot of them don't have a uh, genuine attachment to their artists. Um, so I would go so far to say as these uh, companies, they probably rejoice when a lot of their artists die, to a certain degree. They don't do it publicly, but privately, they're like, yes, our artists die. And that's very cruel and capricious, but that's just kind of the nature of big businesses in general. Um, so like when uh, Tom Petty passed, Tom Petty might have been on a label for a really long time, so maybe he formed some more uh, direct connections with those people. But before 2017, nobody really heard of Little Peep. Um, and you can, if you look at other charts on there, you'll see that he didn't really have a listening base even before 2017. Um, so that's very interesting. So the end result is labels probably 95% of the time do not give a crap when their artists die. Um, I'm not speaking as to Little Peep's uh, specific label. I'm talking generally speaking because artists die. They seem to die a lot. And so most of those companies are probably not going to care that much. And that's just the cold reality. So a good lesson to take from this, I guess, is that um, a lot of these artists, they invest really, they invest a lot into their dreams. Um, and one of my other favorite artists, uh, Tim Mission, he said, it's important not to give a crap that much about uh about, well, about dreaming, about having a very, very specific dream, because you could work towards that dream for 20 years and then achieve something and discover it's not something you wanted to achieve. So, like, for example, Lil Peep suffered from depression, over overdosed, uh, probably wasn't that happy. So, he had things going pretty well for him before his death, but he still ended up dying anyway. Like... Is that is that where we want to be as musicians? I'm I'm just throwing this out there as a suggestive thought. Like, uh, was Kurt Cobain a happy human being? Um, there's obviously much more to life than getting signed on a label. Um, if you're going to create music, create because it makes you happy. If it's not making you happy, then there's just something wrong there. Um, and that's just my own inflated opinion of the matter. But there's another quote I want to send you is from a great, great BBC article that I read. But blah, 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 blah. Um, but honestly, I like a, the discussion-based kind of thing. So if you have any comments or questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, but I'll be back, hopefully, with more like actual music stuff and less like political talky stuff. And I really appreciate it, guys. So, peace.